Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Deck. Today I will show you how you can build this covering for your front window frame. As I've done for the side window frames, I will cover this front frame with some foam and I will start at this middle post here up to this bar and then make other parts which will make their way there until they meet the sidewall frames. After trimming the upper part of the wooden frame to shape, I started by building the middle post. Then the upper parts were fitted into the remaining space. When you fit in these coverings here, then make them a little bit smaller and leave a little bit space to all these edges here. You can see I can push this around here and this is because when the paint and the glass globes will come onto this it will uh, grow a little bit and then it would be too tight when you try to bring it in position again. I cut the lower parts a little bit longer and trimmed them until they fitted in. A smaller piece filled the remaining gap beside the glass shield. So now I'm running a little bit into trouble and leaving the original Boeing style a little bit. With the cover on top of this frame here, I'm not able to grab into this handle anymore because there is not enough space left behind this handle here. So I think in the original Boeing the bottom side of this ceiling plate here is in the same plane as the bottom side of this frame cover here. Okay, now I've built it like this and uh, I will have to work with this. And my first try will be to make a cutout behind this handle here so I will be able to grab here but the cutout shouldn't be so deep that the wooden structure will be visible. So let's see if we can get something like this. Most of the parts are very flexible and those of you who have watched my eyebrow windows might know what can happen when the laminating dries. When I will apply the laminating on this side here and it starts drying then it might shrink and bring the piece in such a position here. 
and you can imagine when it looks like this I won't be able to bring it into position on the frame anymore. So to prevent this from doing this I will screw the pieces on some wooden stripes like this directly after laminating. Let the piece dry and hold it in place. When everything has dried I will remove the screws and fill the holes again. Every piece of glass clothes was prepared before the laminating to save time during this process. So I think this was the right decision. Everything came out really straight and nice and it's a good result I can continue working with. So I test fitted the parts for several times and thought about it a while and I have to say that I'm not really satisfied how this meeting of the three parts here came out. And this is because the lower part here, um, this middle post, comes out a little bit more uh, in front of these two parts here and builds such an ugly edge I think and in the real Boeing this part here uh, goes up in, in this lower ceiling here but uh, I'm not able to construct this in this way and so I came out with this solution but how this looks like I think this can't be the solution for me and so I want to make another design here but instead of building all these three parts again I want to modify them and I will shorten these upper parts here so that they meet the middle post from the side and will extend the middle post up until this lower ceiling here so that it will form a good front edge here and then I will close the gaps between the middle post and this extension over some filler. Let's see how this will come out. Now I will spend the next evenings with making a smooth transition between the middle post and this new other part here and also making a smooth surface to all these remaining parts here. And if you want to know which filler system I'm using, then I will link you one of my previous videos where I explain all this in detail. After building the transition to the extension, I filled and sanded all the pieces until most of the remaining scratches disappeared. Now I prepared some metal stripes, which will act as a counterpart for the magnetic tape stripes.
there's this standby compass compensation table in the upper part of this middle post, which is just a sheet of paper which is inverted into a holder. And I've seen people making this holder from a thin sheet of metal, but I think I wouldn't be able to bend the corners of this metal so good that I would be satisfied with it. So I came out with another idea and I designed and 3D printed this three-parted outline of this holder, which is just a channel, which is big enough to hold just one piece of paper here. And I will arrange this in a rectangular way here on this post and this should work out fine. An additional badge was cut out with my CNC from a small piece of white acrylic. So here it is now everything on its place and the covering make the look to the front window much more realistic now. I really like to sit here looking out of the front window and I can't wait for the moment when there is a scenery. I couldn't make plans for this because you have to adapt them to your needs to the frame of your front window. But I've uploaded the STL file for this holder here so um, that you can 3D print it and also the STL and SLCAM file for um, this sign here. And you can download them from the member section of my website. So I hope you liked this video and if you haven't done it already then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we will see us soon back on the flight deck.